wipe, wipe, wipe it down, wipe, wipe, wipe. Still got bitches that gon' run me like I'm Appa Hey, shout out to my girl May She don't wanna let me pipe I need to not pick up my phone I'll go straight to airplane mode Find something to do, I know I can be a little bit cold But my third eye is going blind I'm on a line with my body and mind It's playing tricks, I say I'm fine But really it's hurting me deep inside Cause I've been dreaming about you Ooh I been wishing I, I was next to you A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. Wake up and we touch him, but I can't feel like I got too many problems to put off still for the morning. Thinking about your body Wake up in the I never feel so loved I've been having dreams Splashing in a summer stream Everyone's mad here. <laughs> you may have noticed that I'm not all there myself. <laughs> Can somebody tell me why parents, teachers, friends all tell you that being an artist is like the worst idea? Because you won't have any money, you'll be starving, there are no jobs in art. Just think for a second. You can paint something once, make prints and products, and sell it in a million different ways. All how you like that? Here's my tutorial on how I draw my portraits in pen. So I start out like I do with any other portrait, just blocking out the shapes first. Don't worry about being perfect because it's art and you'll make mistakes and that's okay. I try to shade in one direction, but as you can see with this portrait, that didn't really work. I think people generally feel like they have less control with pen because obviously you can't erase. 
but you can definitely control your lines in how hard you press and how lightly you press. It can also help to shade in the darkest places first, and for the hair, I honestly just go wild. She's kind of a mess, but hopefully y'all can still get something out of this. So, I heard that to get TikTok famous, all you have to do is just draw a face. So here I go. Hello Superstar, come with me while I work on an eye painting with the colours you guys suggested in one of my previous videos of teal and gold. As usual, we are starting off the painting with a graphite sketch and then outlining all the dark areas in black acrylic paint. Then going in with some fluorescent markers and FYI, all of these paintings actually glow under black light. That is, um... Pretty cool. Anyway, this is the finished piece. If you guys have a color request, please let me know in the comments. Yeah. I know I've got to go, but I might just miss the flight. I can't stay forever. Let's play pretend and treat this night like it'll happen again. You'll be my bloody Valentine. Boy, new art challenge. Show your first page in your sketchbook, your favorite page, your second favorite page, your weirdest page, your least favorite page, and a page where you explored a new style. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. Okay, so I know this is really dumb, but artists will understand. I have never been so proud of a hand in my entire life. I think is so slept on tiktok artists i'll be scrolling through my for you page and come across somebody making an absolute masterpiece but then i'll also see that that video didn't get nearly as enough love as the next one of the shirtless boy doing nothing i don't want to see that shit i like to see things that exemplify talent and skill so all my tiktok artists out there listen up because i got a favor to ask i would like to ask if one of you talented artists could draw me because you know i've never seen myself in art form literally no joke i feel like that was this is for all of my tiktok artists out there please don't give up even if you're not getting the amount of views you want to get even if you're not getting all the likes you want to get please keep going but they don't tell you about being an artist i started the sketchbook in 2016 and i knew nothing no anatomy no shading but i kept going fast forward to 2020 and i improved a lot This is part three of my sketchbook tour. This is a stitch drawing. I was recreating an old drawing. It's pretty small with the page, but I like it. I have mixed feelings about this one. Um, it's not my favorite. 
I don't like this one. It's just like, it's supposed to be like an eye drawing. And I feel like the eye is just too small and it, the rest just kind of takes away. This was unfinished for a reason. It looks so bad. This was my first time drawing food and I really like how it came out. I found out I love drawing whipped cream from this and I think this came out really good. These aren't my favorite and now I hate drawing kiwi. This was an original portrait. It was a collab with Studio Julia Art. My idea was for it to be for Pride Month. I was supposed to do a bunch of like sketches on this page, but it stopped after one. Like for part four. Random things in my art studio that just make sense. The painting palette is a thick sheet of fish tank glass, which fits perfectly over this chest of drawers. Kept clean with water and a glass scraper. I love watching artist process videos on TikTok, and I love watching them so much that my entire TikTok feed is just artists. It's gotten to the point where my friends will be talking about a viral TikTok that's super funny or whatever, and I have no idea what they're talking about because my For You page is literally just artists. And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I absolutely love that. I think it's so cool that there's a platform where you can just, in a snippet, see some of the process behind an artist's vision. Uh, and it's short and, it, you know, it's for your attention span, but it's just, I think... It's just such a magical thing. I think TikTok's so cool and it has been such an amazing thing for the art world. So yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say about that. Enjoy watching the rest of this little um, commissioned piece that I did. I think it turned out super beautiful and I hope you have a good day, bye. The chick I call it Lola. She feel like the ocean, like to drink and smoke some Doja. And when painting skin, you want to start with a light wash of the undertone of the painting you're using. For this one, it was a peachy orange tone because his skin was really tanned. Then you want to start building the blush tones on the nose and cheeks. This can take quite a few layers because I like a lot of blush. Adding the purples and blues for the shadows can look a bit weird, but you just gotta keep going with it, it will look better later on. Adding a yellow wash over the whole face will mute the colours a bit and blend them a bit more, make it look a bit more natural. Depending on how dark your skin is, I'll add a few layers of those and then add more blush on top to brighten those areas again. And yeah, that's how I do it. This is the Endless Art Challenge. Get a big piece of paper and make a picture pretty small and then add to that picture every day or every few days because you know life until the whole paper is filled. This is a nice audio for artists so they don't have to use those guild tripping ones anymore. Hey, I'm an artist and I made this and it's pretty freaking cool. And I know you're somebody who appreciates art because clearly you have good taste and I winded up on your For You page by you using this audio. And I'm just kicking back doing my thing. I do all this art just from to make myself happy, but if it makes you happy too, that would make my day. So enjoy the rest of your scrolling. Whether you like this- It's a hard not Molly Ross in my green yeah. I can get the best interest. 
Many people ask, how can I improve my art? Any tips on how to get better at drawing? And I don't think that there will ever be one method that'll all of a sudden improve your art in a heartbeat, but from my experience, I have a system of thoughts that I ask myself after completing a piece of art. So after that relief of finishing a piece, I ask myself, what parts of the piece did I do great on? What parts of the piece could I have I done better? How do I fix these things I need to improve on? Was my style consistent throughout the entire piece? It's not only thinking about what I did good and bad, it's figuring out how to fix the errors I made and keeping mental notes of how to apply those solutions moving forward. And then over time, I forget the mental notes I made as it becomes natural to me. This repeats itself over and over as there will always be problems. But I invite those problems to reveal themselves so I could fix them and move on to the next problem. Just learn how to recognize and fix the issues that arise in your work. It may take a while for anything to gain traction, but trial and error will allow you to take note on what works and what doesn't, and those attempts will only expand your knowledge of what you can do moving forward. I started this drawing about two months ago, and I got the idea for this piece when I was outside one day, uh, when I was laying on the ground looking at everything up close, and I realized that there was like an entire world that goes on down there without our knowledge, and I wondered what would happen if I was to shrink down to that level. What kind of house could you build? I also want to live on a cliff, and there's an abundance of cliffs if you live in the micro world, but I wanted to make my own cool looking cliff, so that's what I did. Creating these imaginary landscapes is one of the most relaxing things to draw because I could get lost in the detail and slowly form my own world as I go on. One thing I like about these dreamscape type drawings is that the viewer has the opportunity to put themselves in the world that I created and explore it. I'm glad that the years I've spent honing in my artistic abilities can now help translate the visuals in my head into physical form for others to see. Knowing that alone provides me enough motivation to keep creating, because I know that I can keep building on not only the skill, but the imagination realm in my head. So a few months ago I got a message from a person who likes my art quite a bit, and they asked for a commission, and as I say to everyone, I don't really do custom commissions because I like my creative freedom. And then he gave me a price that is worth my time, and he also said he wants something done on the topic of mortality, aging, and death, and that I have the creative freedom to do what I want around that topic. It's literally the perfect opportunity, and he wants it to be 4 feet by 5 feet, and I've been itching to paint on a giant canvas for a while now, and now here's my chance. So with this I took an idea that I was actually thinking about for a while and I started painting. What has helped me the most so far was my previous practice painting, getting a feel for creating flowers, and it's actually helped tremendously with this painting already. But I need to make sure that I take my time and think through every stroke as I want this painting to top anything I've done so far. What concerns me the most is that I've only painted a handful of time which means I need to learn how to compromise with any errors I make along the way. I plan to have this painting done sometime next month, so I'll continue to post update videos discussing this painting more in detail. So stay tuned for the following parts of this series. Got your feelings in a hotel room Tell me, baby, do you feel it too? Oh, yeah, cause we been vibing off the gin and juice Some classic shit, shout out Uncle Snoop, you know what? I'm a place, let's get back to you So the word empty, if you take out the first letter, you still pronounce it empty. If you take out the last letter, you still pronounce it empty. And if you take out the first, the third, and the last letter, 
you still pronounce it empty. And if you take everything out, it's still empty. I cannot talk about my thing. Switching my lanes, gotta go and fame. But you felt like it. Is she back? I live. Got no name. Bad bitch. And my watch. Like six.